Let's talk specifically about, uh, you know, uh, the model and what it's telling you uh, today. And let's start with interest rates because, uh, you know, I mean, we were mentioning earlier, if we can get through 225 on a year end, you know, then there's a huge gap into, you know, 450, and that creates another gap into 8%. I mean, the changes that would create, whether it's, uh, you know, the debt problem becomes obviously more exacerbated, but also for us, we're looking to profit by that, and it sure kind of flashes a big red warning light uh, about being in government bonds and creates the green light for shorting them. Yeah, you look, the, take nothing else home, get out of any government bonds, period. Um, because <clears throat> I've written about it before, when Italy um, got in trouble, what did they do? They took their 90-day paper and they turned, converted it into 10-year. Mm -hmm. Government can do anything it wants. You can buy, you know, 30-day T-bills and say, oh, no, we're not defaulting. Uh, we're going to turn it into 10-year bonds. Um, so just, you know, realize there are, there are no rules of the game with them. And they will, their view is they will do whatever it takes to retain power and to retain themselves. So uh, with the bond market and interest rates, look, you have... Just look at California. I mean, they're look, talking about raising taxes because CalPERS is, is behind. All right. And if Trump were to get these, these tax reforms in, I mean, it would be great because it's going to put pressure on the states, and which is long overdue. And so you're looking at a lot of states that you, you have – how are they going to raise money? The rates have got to go up. Uh, they're going to perceive risk. You have the same problem in Europe, uh, but it, it, instead of your states, they're actually former nations. Um, then you have the, mun the municipal and the province levels. Mm -hmm. Canada, look at Canada. I mean, you got problems up there. That it's you know, uh, Trudeau with his, his crazy tax policies. And um, his socks. Yeah, and his socks, yes. <laughs> um, but we're at the point on all these things where there has been no reform and they've just assumed, you know, the money's just always going to be there. 